Riffin is an extremely high skill, high reward champ and is known to be one of the hardest champions to play. As a Riffin made myself, I often tell people just how easy it is to play her once you have fully mastered the champ. Riffin is all about muscle memory. The more you play her and practice her combos, the easier it gets to pull off her combos without even thinking about it. Anyway, today I will be sharing 10 Riffin combos that you must learn and master before actually getting into playing her. And for those interested, I've also got a Riffin gameplay coming right after showcasing the best combos. So with that said, let's get into it. The first combo and also the most important one is Riffin's Fast Q combo. Riffin's Fast Q combo is actually not that complicated, but what matters the most is the timing. The way how the Fast Q works is every time you auto attack, you use your Q and immediately use the move commands right after. What happens is that a small part of the Q animation will be cancelled, and this allows you to use the next auto attack slightly faster than usual. The best way to practice Riffin's Fast Q combo is by spawning a target close to the wall in the practice tool and turning off the cooldowns. Once you get really good at it, I highly suggest spawning a new target further away from the wall and trying again until you can do it perfectly. The second combo is the double cast combo. The way how this combo works is quite simple. When Riven uses her shield, there will be a small duration in which you can cast W and Q at the same time. If this is done fast and correct, you can mix an auto attack together with the stun and the Q, and this gives you an incredibly strong burst combo. Combo. This combo is often used to assassinate a target that is low on health, but can also be used to clear creep waves or jungle camps very quickly. The next combo is the short tray combo. The way how this is done is to use your third Q and then auto attack and immediately using your W after. This is one of the best combos to go for for easy traits in lane, as this combo gives little to no outplay for your opponents at all, since they will be perma stunned for the entire duration. It's also very important to mix an auto attack between whenever you can as most of Riffin's damage comes from doing the auto attack. The fourth one is Riffin's Q extension combo. When Riffin presses Q for the first time, the Q cooldown already starts off. This means that if you drag out your Q and use it on the last second each time, you will have a zero second cooldown at the end. Now, if this is timed correctly, you will have 3 extra passive stacks for more damage at the beginning of a fight, and you will also have a 4th extra dash with a knock up. This is one of the most important mechanics on Riffin as you can extend Riffin's Q and mix it with any combo you like. The fifth combo is the ERQ combo. Just like I've mentioned earlier, Riffin's E allows you to double cast different abilities. This means that you can cast E and mix RQ at the same time. This will cancel out Riffin's ultimate animation completely, and is great for making an aggressive move while chasing down the enemy target. I would also like to mention about Riffin's ER combo. This is another alternative to cancel the animation from the ultimate, and the Q isn't needed to use it. The next combo is the ultimate into the stun combo. This is another very effective method to cancel Riffin's ultimate animation and allows you to stun your opponent directly. There's a lot of situations where you won't be able to have your abilities ready to cancel your ult animation and this is where your stun is gonna help you out. Now the next combo is what I use literally almost every game. This is the EW combo. This one is one of the best ones you can use when enemies are chasing you. Your dash allows allows you to dash a little further away from your opponent and the stun keeps them away from you. There's almost not a single champion in the game that can chase a Riffin when this combo is performed. This is also my favorite combo to use as it's really hard to pull off in some cases. Next we have the ult flash combo. This one is very important as this one allows you to reposition your ultimate. You will have a case from time to time where your ultimate can't hit your opponent because they are either too far away from you or they stand right on top of where you are. This is where you must reposition your ultimate using your flash to make sure you actually hit it. 
The next combo is one of the more standard ones, but also the most effective for all lands. This is the ER Flash Third Q combo. It looks super hard to pull off, but believe me when I say this, it's incredibly easy to do. This is one of the combos which is all about muscle memory. Once you practice this one enough, you will be using this one to all in and engage legit every game you play. This combo is really awesome. The next one is a little bit more complicated, but is also a really good one. This one is a great alternative for all lins. However, this combo is much better for killing a solo target quickly. And again, this combo is all about practicing and if fully mastered, it's going to be incredibly easy to do consistently all the time. Now, as promised, let's get into a Riffin gameplay commentary and I will teach you guys exactly on how you guys can play Riffin perfectly. All right, guys, so we're playing some Riffin top lane, but today we're playing against a Orn. And I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you can play perfectly into this matchup. So um, what we have in this game is the Conquer page. We also have Nimbus and then we also have Transcendence and then we also have D-Blade Ignite Flash. Orn matchup is really interesting because currently, as we all know, like Orn's currently one of the best tanks in top. For plenty of reasons, this guy has a really strong lane phase. And in general, like, he is excellent at pretty much all stages. Either way, early game, we're just going to rely on taking pressure whenever we can. Also, stacking Conquer. If we have the full stacked Conquer, we can kill him for free. We already got him. So, like, one thing is crucial here, right? Riffin is an early game champ, obviously. If you play against an Orn, even though he's a strong champ, you can beat him through fast Q's early game. So, if you can get pressure against Orn right away to start the game, go for fast Q's. As you can see, like, you're going to win very easily. Now we shove out the Deling. And now we're going to go back. So next we're going to be building long swords. We're going to be building two long swords. I'm probably going to go for the Gorchinker build in this game. Now let's get back. Also very important to know. Um, this Orn has rushed tier. Like straight up first item. Um, if you ever see an Orn going tier first item, go in. Go all in. Anytime you can. Um, an Orn that goes D-Shield is much harder to beat than an Orn that goes Tier. Because Tier, even though it gives them a lot of mana early game, it does give them less HP because they don't have to D-Shield. So it's much easier to kill an Orn like that. He also doesn't have the healing from D-Shield. So every trade is going to do better. Not bad. That was kind of clean by him. Ooh, he also hit that ability. Just standing out the wave a little bit. And now we simply stay very patient. Oh, that trait's going to be well worth it for me. I don't beat him. No. I don't get to beat him there. Now we take the next wave. And I think we're probably directly going for a reset. Unless, of course, he's going to stay around. Ooh, nice. That was like the max damage I could do. It was a chance he could have lived. Because he's going quite tanky already. Hey, that's a random Ramus. Well, no problem. I can stay away from that stuff. Oh, he's already going to next jungle camp. Okay, sure. Um, instead of going for Warhammer now, I'm just going to go for Pickaxe. So once again, I'm going to have more damage. 
And now we get back. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions to why I'm not building Warhammer instantly um, when I have the chance to do it. The reason why is when you have two long swords, you have 20 AD. If you upgrade it into Warhammer, you're going to have 25 AD and ability haste. But um, here goes the catch. If I go pickaxe, I'll have 25 AD extra. I much more prefer that because I can also buy it instantly. I don't have to save gold to buy next time. That's why I'm going for two long swords and then the pickaxe right after. Let's uh, shove the next wave. Nice. And let's place a war down right here. I'm using a Crunch Award in the Tribush because I think I can bait him. Uh, that's definitely not worth it. Yeah, I can't. I can't trade him right here. Oh, I'm getting ganked. Oh, he failed it. He failed his ultimate. Kidding? That must feel pretty bad for him. Oh, he also... I managed to cancel it. <laughs> oh, man. I feel really, really bad for him. Oh, man. I canceled out his knockup. So he had nothing left anymore. <laughs> that was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. Um, it turns out that Rambus is coming top lane, so... See you later. I had to flash this one, unfortunately. I had no choice but to do it. Let's go for Iron Spike, Warhammer, and then we also get my Ruby Crystal, and then also a tier 1 boots. Excellent. And now we go back top. Um, currently we have about double the farm lead on Orn. Um, we also have about three kills. I hope I'm actually about to get more plates on him. Next wave. Mostly building. It's going Bammy Cinder. Also armor. Ooh. I got my cannon. Could have used my iron spike, but I hit it on the wrong button. My bad. I'm gonna farm between the two turrets. So I can start farming jungle camps. I think... Yeah, we can go for it. So now the now the power spike is about to show. Because I can farm between two turrets now. How should I proceed? I think I'm going to get ganked by Ramus at some point. Uh, there's a red buff. Ooh, nice. That's really good. Wait, what? He failed it. Eh? My man, this guy is not using his ultimate properly. I couldn't see this time what happened. That's a bit weird. Let's go back. It's time I get my gorge anchor. I sense I have a feeling 
that uh, this Orn is trying to learn the champion. I don't know if... I, I think that's what I sense here. Because um, this, this Orn, every time he throws the ultimate, he's not using it properly. Like, at, at least the first time I saw him, he tried ulting it, but it failed. Because he was... I believe he was throwing it into the wrong direction and he just was too late. The second time, I couldn't quite see why. I couldn't see why he didn't, like, finish up the ultimate, but... I'm assuming it's probably because he's trying it out. I don't know. It's at least... That's what I think. We have an Udyr coming in top lane. Oh. Uh, yeah, TF has ulted, so he sees my jungler. So that's not gonna work. Yeah, that turret is gone. Oh, that guy is tough for sure. Nice, we got him. Ooh, I stole the camp with my third Q. I couldn't even see it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm This game, I'm thinking about going for Hydra, actually. Okay, let's go back. So yeah, now we def- yeah, I want to go for a Hydra this game. It's not because we're playing as a tank. Not really. Um, there you go. Uh, the reason why I'm going for Hydra is because this game, I can power farm like crazy, man. I don't really care if I don't have Black Lever, I can probably build it like third item. But Hydra is going to allow me to power farm like crazy and make my lead even bigger. That's why. Oh, it turns out that this guy ran off. Oh, we actually got him. <laughs> Must feel pretty bad for him. I think we can probably kill him under tower, but just to make sure, I'm going to walk around. Oh, last try. Wait a second. Okay, that's perfect. And that's a triple. And he also got him. Cool. Excellent. Um, let's go back to base, and I'm gonna buy myself Hydra, and then we start building towards Black Lever. Um, but before I do, I think... I have this feeling Felkos is gonna walk in here. Just wanna see if... Maybe I'm right. No, never mind. Felkos is not coming over. It's Orn. Oh, sell that stuff. Do long swords. I'll take the jungle camp here. Oh, 
Yeah, you know what's going to happen now. This game is over, man. I'm going to 1v9 it super hard. Check this out. I'm going to clean them up from right behind them. Mm, well, no problem. Ah, he's gonna press R, doesn't he? Ah, turns out he didn't do it. He didn't have the time to do it. Uh, rep buff here? No rep buff. I can try killing a Thalius. Um, I was going to shield, but yeah. Oh, my team is actually quite a little bit behind. I need flash. It's like 30 seconds. Yo, kidding? Huh? I was going to jump like across the wall, but like he disappeared from the, um, from the vision. I thought he was going to I thought he was going to keep running, but he just placed a ward down. I should have lined up in a different way. I have my flash now, so the next team fight is going to be excellent. Let's get this camp here. Drake is spawning. So we might rotate. Oh, nice try. I'll take this thing. Thank you. Uh, Bane's trying to 1v1 an Orn? Who's gonna win? Vayne with Blade or Orn with only Sunfire? Sidestep the ultimate? Okay, not bad. Um, Aphelius is gonna walk up here. Bro, the lineup. So bad. Ah, there's the Ramus, of course. I think he knows. Oh. Impressive. This guy actually lived after the whole team went for him. Up until nowadays. <laughs> We really have to get our hands on the Baron. We really need to. Um, I think they're still down here. Yeah. I got him. <laughs> Never gets old, man. Like diving with Riffin.
Maybe I can kill Orn right behind him. Nice try. Great. Yeah, we got a vein top lane also shoving the lane out. Yeah, this guy's up. Oh, never mind. Man, the gold card takes so long, bro. He had no ultimate. Okay. Well, I think that my next item is going to be GA. Let's try. Well, <clears throat> let's get my crutch. That will be the next item. So long, I've wondered. 55 seconds for a dragon. Maybe we can kill Falcos right here. Uh, we have some problems, wait. Oh, I'm stumped forever. Ah, we got Gale forced again, feels bad, man. Ooh. Yo, that guy wants me so badly, dude. Wait, what? Yo, that guy is willing to do anything for me there. Oh man, he used everything for me. A Fally is just so much damage, dude. Hey, wait a second. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, problems. Yeah, right. Man, I missed it. I missed my ability. I could have been alive. I missed my stun. Hey, we can probably kill Aphelius here. Here it comes. Okay. Well, I felt my jump. Excellent. No, I failed my jump. Ooh. Okay. Still managed to fix it. <laughs> How should I get we have about 30 seconds to get towers. Um, five seconds until Orn spawns and Ramus. Uh, wait. I gotta run from this one. <laughs> yeah. I think we can probably turn around. Yeah. 
you get. Oh, of course. Yeah, right. Okay, this game is done. This game is finished. Hey, either way, this is uh, Riven Top. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.